Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is doing well. So today we're going to find out what does your person on your mind feel about you and what they think about you. Let's find out all about their thoughts and feelings about you guys. Whoever you're thinking about, it might be your crush, it might be a person from the past. Uh, but we're talking about the romantic interest here, right? So let's see, uh, you can choose your pile 1, to 3 as usual, which I will insert right now and I'm going for pile number 1. Hi pile 1, if you chose this nice lady over here, it says day and night. This reading is for you guys. If you're interested in personal readings, you can find my information in the description box and also in the comment section. I do offer a same day reading for $20 only. And I also have a Patreon account with 18 plus readings for you guys. So let's see what about you. So we're asking about the person in your mind, their thoughts and feelings about you. So you chose this card over here with this uh, girl and she's holding a sun here, you see, in her hands. But uh, she's not looking at the sun, she's looking, uh, you know, on the side here. So this to me represents this opportunity with you. It reminds me of the Ace of Pentacles. And uh, I feel like this person has realized that you're a huge chance in love for them. That you could make them happy, right? But uh, they're not looking. So it's like they're holding this opportunity in their hand, but uh, they didn't take it yet. Right? And uh, I think that this is because this person doesn't know what to do with it. Maybe this person is a bit inexperienced. Maybe they are younger than you. Of course, we will see about that. But I see here, guys, that this person also hides because it's like this person is wearing a mask, you see. These, uh, like, glasses here. So I feel this person is kind of surprised by their feelings, by their thoughts about you. And because here we see we see the day and night, and we also have the sun and the moon, they are thinking about you a lot all the time. And this uh, process of thinking about you all the time uh, has made them very surprised, and they are very curious. Why is that? So it's like uh, they are going uh, their way, you know, living their life, and suddenly this person met you, and now they are stuck. Kinda, they know they don't know what to do with this chance, they don't know what to do with you and uh, for the moment they are a bit, uh, you know, hiding stuck and hiding behind this mask that they have so maybe this person acts aloof maybe this person doesn't show you much emotion, I feel I also just got a message uh, this pile could be also for uh, people from the past and uh, they want to take this new chance with you, to have this uh, new leap of faith with you, to take a risk with you, but they're kind of reluctant, they don't know what to do at the moment. Yes, and they might also have dreams about you, I see with this moon over here. Alright, a lot of information already coming through, so let's see what the tarot cards will show for you guys. Okay, pile one. So we got here the Empress, Chariot, Three of Cups, Five of Swords, Queen of Cups, Judgment, Five of Cups, Four of Swords. We also have High Priestess, Emperor, Ten of Cups. And you also have Ace of Swords and uh, Three of Wands over here. So the cards already wanted to come out immediately when I started to shuffle. So this person really wants to talk. And there is a lot of energy coming from them towards you okay so let's see guys I think I was right in the beginning when I said about uh, some of you guys uh, might be asking about your ex because here we have three of cups and the three of cups is speaking about reconciliation and uh, below underneath we have the five of swords 
So this person guys, if this is your ex, they are thinking about uh, you, they are thinking about reconciling with you. And uh, with the five of swords underneath, they have this self-sabotaging behavior. They have a lot of mental conflict about that, if they should come towards you. Okay, we'll talk about this later on. Uh, let's get the overview here. Okay, so let's see. So you got here the Empress and you also have here the Emperor. So this person, for some of you, a uh, small amount of you might be your ex-husband or your ex-partner. So you had something together. And for others of you, this might be a new person that is really attracted to you. And um, they feel, guys, with the Empress that you are it for them. They see you as uh, very beautiful, very sensual, very nurturing. And they think of you as, a, you know, like a role model, as a potential, you know, partner in life. They see you as sensitive, they see you as a lady. And uh, this person has feelings for you because I also opened the deck before and I saw the two of cups. So if this person is a new person, they are really attracted to you, the Empress. They really, guys, appreciate your beauty because you also have the Queen of Cups. And they are thinking about it a lot. I hope it's okay that I show this card. Because I don't know. It's a bit tricky now on this platform, right? So underneath the Queen of Cups you have the Judgment. And uh, this person indeed is uh, really thinking a lot about you. Day and night. As we saw before with this card over here, uh, I feel like this person has dreams about you guys. They are dreaming about you at night because I see here this uh, moon and this crescent moon in the background. So this person feels really fulfilled when they think about you. They feel really happy about you or when they remember about uh, you know past times with you, if this is your ex. They have this uh, nostalgic, you know, memories, this uh, nostalgic energy about them. And both of these cards have the blue color, and the blue color is the color of truth. So this is their truth over here with the Queen of Cups. They really like you, they love you if this is a past person. There are also these flowers around, and I feel this gives me a sense of innocence. So perhaps for some of you this is a new person, a crush, and uh, they have these new feelings about you, right? And they have this undertone of innocence. Maybe some of you guys are uh, young people here, and this is your first love. It could be for some of you. But I also feel with this card over here, I'm not sure if I can show it. Uh, because this lady over here, the Queen of Cups, uh, has this... Um, figure here it's like a demon like a devil right and around we have these flowers of innocence and uh, sensitivity so i feel this person guys uh, is really sexually attracted to you but they keep this a secret so they have this uh, you know like a facade of innocence to them but deep down they are burning here with desire you see so if you crack them up a little bit you will see that inside they are like a volcano, like a, <laughs> like a lava here. So they have love for you deep down in their core. They have desire for you. But they try to keep this, you know, undercover. They try to keep this a secret to these flowers over here around. And this person really appreciates your beauty. They find you beautiful. They find you cute, I hear. And uh, you fulfill them, you fulfill, their, you fulfill their senses whenever they see or think about you. They give them a rush of dopamine, you know. So they really like thinking about you. And how they feel is that uh, they like you because with the Queen of Cups, this card speaks about emotions also. For some of you guys, this might be a person that has deep feelings for you already not for all but for a lot of you and I feel like for the people that are your ex with a judgment card over here underneath the queen of cups this person has realized their love for you 
And uh, in some cases, this person might be even thinking about an apology. They want to give you an apology. Uh, because I also seen this card over here, the rip and the cross. And for some, you might have had an ending here. And they have these dreams about you. Also daydreaming. How they're coming back and how they apologize to you. Yes, for some of you guys this is the case. Because here we have the Five of Cups. And the Five of Cups is speaking about loss, disappointment and regrets. And in combination here with these four cards, because we have Five of Cups, Judgment and Four of Swords. And the Four of Swords about meditation, about thinking, about really processing right their thoughts about you and their emotions also about you. And they are processing also their actions and, uh, you know, their regrets, what they have done in the past. And I really feel, the guys, that uh, for a lot of you this person wants to apologize. They are thinking about what went wrong. They are thinking what uh, they could uh, have done better and uh, they, they regret some stuff here, you see. But in any case, if it's a new person, because I see here this cup overflowing, this Empress card, and I saw also the Two of Cups before, and you also have the Ten of Cups here with the High Priestess. This person is not indifferent. This person is feeling your energy here with the Ten of Cups. If this is an ex, they are thinking about your past relationship. And they have a lot of memories with you guys. And uh, with the High Priestess, they are thinking about your past life together here, you see. Secretly. Also with the High Priestess, I feel that uh, there is a lot between you that was left unsaid. So maybe that's why they have these regrets here. But their passion for you is burning with this uh, heart. I also see the Leo sign. Some of you might be a Leo or they are. I also see the Emperor as an Aries. So for some of you it might resonate here. And because we have Queen of Cups, uh, some of you guys might be a water sign. And here we have the Chariot. So yes, if you are a water sign, some of you might be a Cancer here. So I feel guys that this person is feeling love towards you, they are feeling regret if this is a past person. If this is a new person they are thinking about uh, going out with you and dating you because here with the Three of Cups this card is also talking about going out and having fun. And we also have here this card, the day and night. So they are thinking about night time with you, spending the night with you, not necessarily in a sexual way, although yes, we do have also this energy here. Because we also have the High Priestess and the High Priestess is speaking about desire also. But more so I feel here guys that this person is uh, really evaluating their emotions for you. And as I said at the beginning, if this is a new person or even if this is a past person, they are very surprised by their feelings for you. They are very surprised by their passion for you. And they are also surprised, I hear, by uh, some extreme feelings that they have inside. They might be feeling passion, they might be feeling also regret, they might be feeling love, they feel also the loss. And for the new people with the Five of Swords, this person might be feeling kind of uh, intimidated, kind of disappointed with their game. <laughs> I would say, because in your case, they feel like they are stuck, they feel like they don't know how to proceed with you. Because maybe guys, this person, if you guys are very young, maybe they didn't fall in love yet until now, until they met you. And now they are really stuck here with the Emperor. And uh, they don't know how to act, because the Emperor is a person that's very controlled. They might also have their ego in place. But I feel more so here that this person wants to show you that they are very, you know, in control. That uh, they are masculine, that they know what they are doing. And uh, they don't want to come off as, you know, indecisive or uh, inexperienced or anything like that. So that's why they are taking uh, their time here, their sweet time, I would say. And thinking a lot about you, daydreaming a lot about you. Thinking about uh, making a move with the chariot. 
because they have these feelings here with the Empress and they really admire how you look, they like how you look, right? You inspire them and they want to break free from their own limitations and come towards you. They want to become stronger mentally. So they lack a bit of determination, I feel, here, guys, for you. Yes, with the chariot, this person wants to rush in. But uh, these tigers over here, you see, they are still sitting. They are not in move. So this person is a bit stuck right now. And here with the Ace of Swords and the Three of Wands, this person has realized a lot about you. As I told you, they have realized that you are uh, something special. And that's why they are stuck right now. That's why they cannot move. But with the Three of Wands, they are planning to. They are planning to change something, right? This is strategizing and planning for the future here. And uh, next to the Chariot is a very good sign that uh, they are ready, they are almost there to make a move. And here we have the Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Swords is a card of mental process, also of realizations, and also the Ace of Swords sometimes speaks about success, about wanting to have success, wanting to take an opportunity. And yes, this person is really thinking about that, how, how can uh, they make this happen, right? So, in any case, X or next, this person is planning for the future and they are thinking about how to come towards you here. Okay, let's get some oracle cards now to see a little bit more. Okay, so we have here some confirmations for the past people. We have escape and it says they left when things got hard. We also have here reminiscing. I miss our inside jokes and we also have reflection. Being away from you has allowed me to gain clarity. So yes, Ace of Swords is also about gaining clarity. Another confirmation here that this person has realized uh, a lot of stuff about you, they are reminiscing about you, daydreaming about you, we have here confirmation, it says I'm always longing for you. We also have missed opportunity, I didn't act when I should have, so I feel this is about the regrets that they have, as I said before guys. And we also have secrets, and it says I haven't told you everything, and this is uh, very similar to the High Priestess. So it's about uh, things being left unsaid, as I said before. So this person is really thinking about you, really analyzing what went wrong. And we have also space and I said, it says I need more time to think. Yes, a lot of thinking process about you, a lot. Reminiscing, daydreaming, reflecting here, a lot. It's all about uh, thinking here. Thinking and regrets and longing and wanting to be with you, right? Okay, so in case this is a new person uh, with the secrets, this might be your secret admirer and uh, because it says I haven't told you everything I feel like this person has not uh, expressed their interest to you yet but they are really fantasizing and daydreaming about you they are longing for you and uh, I feel also with these cards that there is uh, this intimidation here towards you or from you, I should say, I don't know. But they feel a bit scared, guys. They feel a bit intimidated. And although they have realized a lot of things about you, they are stuck there, you see. They're stuck in this space of thinking still. And they're reflecting. And also, they're scared of rejection. They're scared of uh, missing this opportunity with you. And as I told you in the beginning, here, this person holding the sun, it's like they have realized that this is a huge opportunity for them and they don't want to miss it and because they are afraid of, uh, you know, messing it up, they are frozen now. They are frozen, uh, paralysis by analysis, right? I think it's the same. So right now they are a bit uh, paralyzed, quote-unquote, and they don't know how to act with you. Okay, guys, so that's all I had for you. I think I covered everything. 
Let me know in the comments how you liked it. If it resonates with you, give me a like, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Hi pal 2, welcome guys. If you chose this beautiful and sexy lady, the Eva, this reading is for you. If you guys want a personal reading from me, you can find the information in the description box in the comment section. I do offer a same day personal reading for $20 only. Pretty good deal for you. And I also have a Patreon account with 18 plus readings. Check it out if you like. So let's start. Let's see here what's going on with your person. Let's find out all about their thoughts about you, their feelings about you. Okay, so the first thing I saw here in this card, please excuse me, but <laughs> I saw this thing over here and it reminds me of, uh, you know, of male testicles. <laughs> so I feel, guys, that this person, I don't know, something about uh, blue balls is coming in mind. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's what I'm getting here. So I feel that this person is sexually frustrated about you. You also have here the snake, so this person is very tempted by you, very sexually attracted to you. I feel like this person uh, cannot take it anymore. They want you a lot. And if you notice in this card, if you look closely, you can see this woman's breast over here, almost. So this person, the person in your mind, is really fantasizing about you, undressing you. They are thinking about uh, what you have underneath your clothes. Yes, a lot of uh, sexual thoughts here. And this person here, guys. <laughs> I'm not saying that they're a creep. But if you see this person's face over here, I don't know, I get some lust coming through. They are lasting a lot for you. And of course, this is a card of temptation because we have the Eva, right? So it speaks about uh, Eve's garden and stuff like that. And I also feel that this person has uh, wet dreams about you guys. I'm sorry again if this is too much for you right now, but uh, these are the messages I'm getting, so I cannot uh, really avoid it. I have to say what I'm getting, right? There is also a butterfly here in the background, and the butterfly here is uh, yellow. Yellow is a color of happiness, of optimism, and... Uh, the butterfly is, uh, you know, a symbol of transformation, of change. And uh, I feel like this person is really happy about meeting you. It's really, you know, thinking about the future here with you. They're imagining, they're making these uh, fairy tales in their mind. How the situation could change and uh, how it would be in the future if they acquired what they want with you. I don't know what exactly they want. We will see with the tarot cards, but uh, one thing is for sure here, that this person wants to experience you sexually. That's the only thing <laughs> I can say for sure, for the moment at least. Because the sexual energy here is uh, crazy with this card. Okay, you tempt this person a lot. I think that this person is on edge, sexually I mean. I want you. And they don't know what to do right now with their energy. So that's that's a bit fine to me. But uh, yes, let's see what the tarot cards will show now, guys. Let's find out more. Let's see what's going on in your person's head. Okay guys, so as you saw, we have here the Devil's Energy and we have the Eva, so that's not a coincidence. This is a lot of sexual energy coming from this person, I don't know what you have done to them. I don't know guys if you have uh, intimacy with this person. For a small amount of you, you might have intimacy from time to time and they can really, they cannot take you out of their mind. This person is obsessed with you, this person wants you sexually all the time, this person is thinking about intimacy with you. If you didn't have sex with them, they really want it, 
I told you guys this person is on edge uh, sexually here, they are very frustrated, they cannot take it anymore. Because if you see this uh, devil's eyes over here, they are red and uh, their blood, uh, you know, <laughs> didn't only go on their uh, lower parts, but uh, you know, has gone everywhere. And they really want you guys, they cannot, uh, you know, stress that here enough. Yes, this person is frustrated and they feel a bit angry also with you. If you don't give it to them, I don't know, maybe you had sex in the past and now you don't and they want it back and they cannot have you and uh, they feel angry, you know. Yes, you frustrate them, but in a good way, I would say. <laughs> so, yes, uh, this makes them want you even more. If you didn't have sex, they are also frustrated because uh, you're very tempting to them here and it's not enough that we got the Eva card, you also got the Queen of Wands and as you know already, the Queen of Wands is someone I will talk about the ladies because the majority of my viewers are ladies, right? are women, so I will uh, use the she pronoun so the Queen of Wands is someone that's very sexy she's very sensual, very confident she's, uh, you know, all that the eat girl or guy, whatever you are doesn't matter to me this person sees you as extremely tempting here we have a Scorpio in the background and as you know the Scorpio has a lot of mystery a lot of sexuality and uh, you can feel the Scorpio's sexuality the Scorpio I don't know why I say Scorpio all the time because I saw the Scorpio in the background some of you might be a Scorpio Although we have the Queen of Wands and some of you might be a Leo or, a, you know, fire sign. But anyway, in any case, I will talk about the Scorpio energy because I really feel it here. The Scorpio is someone very mysterious, very sexual, they have dark energy also. And uh, people are very drawn to that, right? Because of this mystery. You have this pull. You have this pull, uh, you lure in this person a lot. It's like you're a magnet to them and they cannot, uh, you know, overlook you. They cannot forget you. I feel this person, I told you, is obsessed with you. A lot of thinking process, a lot of fantasizing, a lot of, you know, sexual dreams about you. And we also have uh, Queen of Pentacles, so a lot of cards wanted to come out for you guys. The Queen of Pentacles is someone uh, very beautiful, so you're not only confident, you're not only, you know, mysterious, but you also have this uh, warm energy about you. And this combination of Queen of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles, guys, makes you resistible. I cannot, uh, you know, stress it enough. This person, guys, uh, loves your energy. They're addicted to you here. They're addicted to your energy. Even if you didn't have anything with this person, they love it. They love to be around you. They love thinking about you. They're obsessed with your face, your lips, your eyes here, your breast for some, I see. Your legs. Yes, some of you guys might have nice breasts because you also see this card over here. So your person, whoever that person is, that you're asking about. For some of you it might be a situation here I get that you have had intimacy and others you didn't have yet but they really want it, right? And that's why they have this obsession here. But if you had, they are hooked. <laughs> they are hooked to your uh, kitty cat. I'm so sorry guys, I have to say it. They are hooked to your energy, they are hooked to your uh, sensuality here with the Queen of Pentacles. Yes. You are something else to them. We also have the Nine of Cups. So this person, guys, sees you really as the it girl. So the Nine of Cups is a card of wish fulfillment. They really think of you as someone that uh, you're the only person that can fulfill them so much. Because I told you before, Queen of Wands and Queen of Pentacles and Eva here is a deadly combination. And I strongly feel, guys, that you also have uh, Scorpio placements. So the Nine of Cups is a card of wish fulfilled. And so for this person it's like uh, you're almost perfect. You're the ideal for them. You have everything 
and not only that but you have more than everything to them I would say uh, and I'm not exaggerating here the energy is crazy I'm not making this up as you can see we have the devil, we have Eva, we have a queen of wands so enough said <laughs> okay let's see here now besides the sexual attraction which is going crazy what else we have okay so underneath the nine of cups we have the six of cups and the six of cups is a card of of nostalgia right six of cups to me speaking about delicious energy and our confirmation yes this person really loves to be around you they love to be in your energy and uh, if you're not together this is something that they really miss and uh, this is something they really crave from you. You have this warmth about you, you have this deliciousness about you and they cannot find it anywhere else, you know. We have here the Two of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles is about uh, indecision, about, uh, you know, juggling, about not knowing what to do, about the situation. So I feel this person with the Two of Pentacles and also the Temperance card that we have they are trying to make a decision guys here they are trying to balance themselves out so the two of pentacles is also card of balance as the temperance and uh, they are trying to be patient in this case and the seven of pentacles is also speaking about patience all these cards to me tell me that this person is holding back for some reason so they have all this passion inside. We even have Knight of Wands, right? And the Knight of Wands is a card that is described as a card of passion. So this person is really passionate about you. They want to come towards you, but uh, they are trying to control themselves for some reason. They try to be patient and calm. With a magician, this person has passion. They want to take action. They want to become uh, determined. To do something right magician is uh, someone that has all the skills to do something to take action and to me in this card the magician is also speaking about uh, making a strategy making a plan for the future and also the magician sometimes guys uh, can be tricky especially in combination with the knight of wands and we also have the seven of swords so for some of you guys this person as a magician might be a player just for a small amount small amount of you you don't have to worry though because i don't feel that this is the case for the majority i would say just for one or two people uh, from the crowd this could be a player this could be someone that it's fixated on uh, you know sexual relationships and stuff like that on intimacy and they take a lot of pleasure from that and with the seven of swords they are strategizing thinking how they can get you into bed I mean because uh, with the knight of wands they really have a lot of passion for you as you can see here with this uh, flames and fire around but for the majority of you guys I feel that this card the magician is really a card of um, gathering their willpower their strength here because again we have this fire you see so they really want you they really want to take action and with the seven of swords they're strategizing behind the scenes so you don't know yet uh, what they will do about it and they're really thinking about it because we have here the ten of swords so in this case the ten of swords is talking to me about overthinking about uh, thinking obsessively over someone because you also have the devil here it's not a negative card right they are overthinking about making this plan what could work with you and underneath we have the eight of wands and this is about putting the work in about investing in this connection so what this person is thinking they are thinking about how sexy you are they are thinking about their passion they're obsessed with you in that sense they are also thinking that they should take action and they are strategizing how to do so and because you also have the knight of swords the knight of swords is someone that is very bold very determined ready to rush in right and they have these ambitious energies about them so they are thinking how they can make this happen how they can become 
bolder, you know, more determined, uh, because I feel that this person has a lot of ambition. If this person is experienced, because I feel this person is experienced in, uh, you know, relationships in general with the magician, they are trying to figure you out with the Ten of Swords, they are trying to figure out what would work with you, you know. They are trying to analyze you a little bit. Yes, because they don't want to lose, they want to win with you. We also have here Page of Swords. And the Page of Swords, as you might know guys, is a card of curiosity. They want to communicate with you and they are also very curious about uh, your life, what you are doing day to day. If they don't see you day to day, they are very curious what other people you have in your life, if you have other admirers, if you have anybody else. They might even be watching you online, if they have your account. Okay, they might be watching your profile here. And they also see moon and the sun. So they are watching you a lot, it doesn't matter the time. They might be watching you, you know, day and night here, every day almost, online. If not, if they can only see in person, they're uh, impatient here. They cannot wait to see you every time, right? This boar, I think it's the boar, it's called, this animal. They have a lot of, uh, you know, impatient energies in them. They are very excited. So this person is very excited right now. And this excitement is almost overwhelming. Because if you see Ten of Swords and Page of Swords, they are uh, kind of stressed, I would say, not only excited, they are stressed in this case. Because they really want this and they cannot wait to be with you. They cannot wait to have intimacy with you. They cannot wait to hold you, to kiss you, to have sex with you and stuff like that. Their fire inside is burning really brightly here, I see. I also noticed here in the Eight of Wands that we have this uh, deer. And you also have Seven of Swords. The deer is a symbol of innocence, right? Of delicacy. So this person, they are a devil inside, but they are pretending to be this uh, innocent being. So be careful here for some of you. Because as I said, this person might have a game as a player, as a magician. So they are ready to do anything to get you. So be careful, guys. I just have to say it. And the Eight of Wands is a card of, uh, you know, taking action, of rushing forward, of uh, making a move. So this person is really overthinking about that. How to make a move on you? How to make you happy? How can they make you say yes, right? But I also, guys, saw, so I opened the deck before and I saw the Four of Wands. And I also see here the Hierophant. So I feel, guys, for a small uh, portion of you, I would say not so small, maybe 20-25% here, that this person is uh, in another connection, right? And they see you as a temptress, they see you as, you know, tempting them a lot, as a temptation. They see you as a devil here, and uh, because they want you so much and they cannot have you, this really frustrates them. And here comes the Seven of Swords and the Magician. This person might be even married, guys, for some of you. They might be married and have another person, which could be the Queen of Pentacles. And that's why they cannot do anything. That's why they watch you from afar and they are so obsessed with you. Because uh, they want you sexually, but they cannot have you. Yes, for some of you this could be the case. And that's why you have the Ten of Swords here. It breaks their heart, right? It really bothers them that they cannot uh, do anything about it. And that's why they have to control themselves, the temperance. And uh, they can only, you know, daydream about you, fantasize about you a lot. So as far as emotions, guys, I don't see a lot of deep emotions in your pile. Although, yes, we have the Nine of Cups. You fulfill them emotionally, but I cannot say that this person is in love with you. I cannot say that uh, there are deep feelings here, right? I would say that this person is obsessed with you sexually. They love your energy. They love to be around you. They really long for you. They really want to hold you. They find you sensual and sexual and confident and sexy 
attempting and all of these good things but I don't see here any feelings let's see now I will uh, draw some oracle cards to see a little bit more Okay, so here you guys have the ego card. It says, uh, I let my pride get in the way of our connection. So if this person is a player, just for some, they want to make the situation this way so that you go to them. You know what I mean? So they have their ego in place here, their male ego, if they're a man. If this is a person that is married or another connection, uh, they don't want to lose face in front of you. If this person is a new person or a crush, they have their uh, pride, you know. Again, they want to make it seem like it's natural coming towards you, you know what I mean. We have here habits, I don't know if we will ever change. And if you remember in the beginning I told you about the butterfly, which is about transformation and change. So I strongly feel this person would like to change the status quo, would like to change the situation for the better, but at the moment they can't, at the moment at least. Either this person, you know, is a bit afraid to come towards you if they are new, if they don't know you that much, if they are a secret admirer, because here we have confirmation with the secrets, that this could be your secret admirer. So the person that you're crashing on is crashing back, right? So in this case, they want to move towards you with eight of wands, but they are not there yet, right? In, this, in the case that this person is a married or another connection, they are dreaming about you, daydreaming, here with the daydreaming card, and longing for you. I'm always longing for you, it says. They are dreaming about being able to change the situation and uh, having you. So it's like uh, you're a dream to them. We also have here inseparable, our love is always there, despite the distance. So yes, there is this distance between you, I feel. That's why they are so fixated on you, with the devil and the daydream here. It's like uh, they cannot uh, grasp, they cannot reach you, and this makes you even more tempting to them, right? We have here soul contract, the, lace, the lessons I learned from us will never be forgotten. And because we also have the six of cups before, this could be a karmic of yours, this could be a person that uh, you are meant to learn some lessons with, if this person is a player, if uh, they might have some toxic traits, I don't know, for some it could be, with the devil and the magician, right? So yes, just be aware of that. You know, be careful, let time show who this person is, uh, you know, don't rush in immediately, let them prove themselves to you. But yes, this person, guys, is obsessed with you, I cannot uh, say anything more here, they are very fixated on you, extremely focused on you, they like you a lot, they are lasting after you, and uh, yes. I cannot say that they have deep feelings, but they really want you. Okay, pal 2, I really loved your pile. I hope you liked it as well. If you did, give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hello, pile 3. If you chose this lady with the butterfly, this reading is for you. If you guys are interested in personal readings, I do offer a same-day reading for $20 only. And I also have a Patreon account with 18 plus readings for you. You can find the information in the description box and also in the comment section. Alright, pile 3, let's see what's going on with you. Let's see what about your person, all about their thoughts and feelings about you. So, we get here this lady and if you look closely, her uh, gaze is very focused on something, right? So, I feel this person is very focused on you. I also get uh, some sadness coming from them, I don't know. Because I feel like this person is almost uh, crying here. They have a tear. For some it will resonate. And uh, we have the transformation card, right? With the butterfly. So either a huge transformation has come to your life. With this person or in general. 
or this person is thinking about uh, how to transform your connection for the better and I also see this uh, pink color in this butterfly so I get that this person has feelings for you they might love you deeply for some of you guys yes very interesting let's find out more let's see what the tarot cards will show Yes, as expected, pile number three nailed it, so it's about uh, an ex, ex-partner, ex-relationship, I get this a lot with pile number three lately. Okay, so if you guys are asking about your ex, this is your pile here. Okay, so let's see, so you got here the lovers, you have queen of cups, strength, the star, Page of Pentacles, the Tower and the King of Cups. So this person guys, so with the Tower card you had an ending, your relationship collapsed, uh, yes your connection was ended for some reason, this was very unexpected and you guys uh, were left out in the cold, you felt very disappointed, as I told you before with this card. I got some sadness come from this person so you might be in pain still over this person and I feel it's mutual here it's mutual because in this card the star uh, we have this uh, human being let's say with the two heads so it's like you feel the same uh, you think the same about each other I mean and with the star there is distance between you for a small amount of you this might be a long distance relationship just for some others of you with the star there is a need, there is a will to reconcile, to renew this connection, right? to bring this connection to life again I feel that uh, this person is thinking about that how they can renew your connection and as I said in the beginning, guys, this person that you're asking about has deep feelings for you. You have King of Cups over here and the Queen of Cups. So you were a couple, you had a lot of love, uh, you had a lot of chemistry. Because we have the Lovers card over here, right? And especially in this deck, the Lovers, as you can see, is depicted with a snake. So this tells me that uh, you guys had a lot of uh, ups and downs. You might have also some uh, toxicity in this connection. Because the snake is not necessarily a toxic uh, you know, situation. But in this case I really feel it because I'm uh, drawn to the snake's uh, you know, teeth. And you guys here as you can see there is a couple here in the background. The woman and the man. And you're sitting... You're not sitting beside each other, but you're sitting with your uh, your back to each other. And uh, you have this snake between you, you have this wall between you. So I feel uh, you had some differences, but besides that, if, you, if we put that aside, I mean, you also had a lot of chemistry, sexual compatibility, and that's why maybe this connection was very addicted, addicting to you, right? was very addictive and uh, you guys cannot let go of this connection easily because uh, no matter what maybe this is a karmic of yours I strongly feel it for some you go back to each other it's like uh, you are linked here you see it's like you are two people in one body metaphorically speaking and uh, that's why because you have this soul contract you have this sexual uh, you know compatibility here in chemistry it's very difficult for you to let go of each other I also get that uh, for some of you you might still have some lessons to learn with this person and that's why the universe brings you together back together because you haven't learned everything 
Yes, this person has deep feelings for you. With the King of Cups. With the Queen of Cups, they are reminiscent about you. They remember your face, uh, you know, how beautiful you are. And they miss you. They miss you a lot here, I get. Okay, another message I'm getting with the Seven of Cups and the Strength. Either you have a lot of options or they have a lot of options. But I mostly feel that this person is thinking about your options now that you're not together. Because you're attractive, right? I get here with the Queen of Cups. This person is uh, really wondering if you have a lot of options. I mean, I'm sure that uh, they know that you have options, right? That other people want you. But they're wondering if you have already, you know, moved on. And with the strength, they have these uh, demons inside that they want to conquer. And uh, these demons, guys, are, uh, they are jealousy. They are jealous here, I feel. They have a lot of passion and I strongly feel they have aggression. And uh, in case that you have somebody else already, they really hate it. They don't like it at all. And they are suffering because of that. Because here I also have Ten of Swords. This person is not having it. This person is in pain, I'm telling you. With the tower, their world, uh, you know, turned upside down. And uh, they feel the pain, they feel that they also miss, the, you know, the chemistry you had. They are addicted to you. Yes. You had this uh, toxicity between you that uh, they love. I'm not saying that this person is crazy. That they are looking to, you know, for trouble. What I mean is that subconsciously you resonate at the same frequency, right? Both of you, I feel, uh, you have uh, unhealed wounds that you need to heal. And because you resonate at this uh, lower frequency, this brings you two together. And it's very hard for them. It's very hard for them to find somebody else right now that can make them feel like you make them feel. Yes, I feel, guys, that uh, there is some unhealthy patterns here that you need to, you know, shed some light into, you need to focus on right now. If you would like, of course, you know. But I feel that you guys uh, had a lot of uh, good sex and uh, this person is hooked, they cannot forget about it. They want it, they want it back, they want to be with you again. With the sun card and the star, they have this hope. They have this hope that they can be happy again. And the only person that can make them happy is you. Nobody else. With the nine of cups, uh, yes, you are the one. Right now, they want you. They have passion for you. Uh, they are dreaming how they can get you back. With the seven of pentacles. They are waiting for their ships to come. They are waiting for the right opportunity to take in order to be with you. And the Page of Pentacles is uh, about a new opportunity. And they want this. They are thinking about it. They are thinking about uh, your intimacy here. They are thinking about um, how complete you make them, right? Because here, with this uh, creature, and the same body, you make them feel complete. So without you they are suffering, they are jealous, they are aggressive, they are thinking uh, that you might have somebody else and they really don't like that. They are thinking about messaging you, the page of pentacles, they are thinking about reaching out, they are thinking about transforming your connection to a better one because they are miserable without you, the ten of swords. They miss your energy, they want to be happy again. And with the Eight of Pentacles, they are thinking about uh, trying, they are thinking about putting the work in. So they want to message you, they want to show you their, you know, interest, that they want you back. So this connection might be a bit toxic, this connection is very strong between you. You might have some lessons uh, still to learn. A lot of passion with these red colors over here. This this connection, guys, uh, burns you. You see with this dragon, this fire. So it's like a double sword thing here. It uh, 
It hurts, but it also feels good, and that's why you're addicted to each other. Okay, so some of you might be Leos here with the Sun card. We have a lot of pentacles. Uh, you might be an Earth sign. With the star, you might be Aquarius. The strength again, Leo. King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. You might be a water sign. And the lovers, you might be a Gemini. Either you are this person, you or you might have this in your uh, you know chart. So I will draw some oracle cards now to see a little bit more what's going on in their head and their heart. Okay, so we have here neglected. It says I failed to give you what you need. Yes, this person is reflecting on uh, what they have done and what they have not done. We also have guilty here. It says I feel pain from the damage I caused. I told you guys this person is in pain right now. And you also have here an expected outcome. Things didn't go the way I planned. So this is talking about the tower moment that happened. Very unexpectedly that everything fell apart. Okay, and uh, here we have mend. And we have this broken heart. And it says I want to fix our connection. Yes, it's about uh, them wanting to mend things. Uh, it's very similar to the star that I told you. Here we have absence. It says I feel like a part of me miss is missing without you. They are missing you a lot. Values. We have too many differences. So yes, you have differences, but you also have this... Uh, unhealed wound. Frequency. You have this similar frequency about you that brings you together. And we have also commitment. It says I want you to be a part of my future. So this person is thinking about how to make you happy. Maybe they want to commit to you. So they are thinking about that. About commitment. If they didn't want to commit before, they now want to change, right? The transformation over here. We also have conversation. I want to call you and hear your voice. So I told you before with the page of pentacles, they want to message you. They want to contact you. They want to have a discussion with you. They want to communicate with you. All right, pile three. That's all I got for you guys. If you like this reading, give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.